Hello, welcome to the third part of the Treehouse experiment. I'm Ruud. I design and build things. In this episode, I convert oak trees into beautiful support posts, design a custom hardwood water barrier, and cut some dead branches that are hanging dangerously above the treehouse. Enjoy. Above the future treehouse, there are hanging some big dead branches that need to be removed. The branches are pretty high up the tree, between 8 and 12 and a half meters. One big dead branch concerns me especially. It is what they call a widow maker. And I don't want that. I considered several options for cutting the branches. An 8 meter long pole saw seemed like a good option. I never used a pole saw before, so I have to learn as I go. The first cut is a success, but it almost damaged the tree. The branch is a bit bigger than expected. My tree needs some protection. The saw almost got stuck once, so I put some wax on the blade for smooth cutting. I slowly figure out a technique that works. I let the pole flex and bounce a bit to put force on the blade. Ouch. Of course, the branches should have been cut before making the construction. Luckily, the beam is fine, just a dent. Nou, dan gaan we betonvloertje. The treehouse build started with making two post supports. I only had to dig about 45 centimeters deep to remove the forest soil and reach solid ground. The metal tube will center the post that will sit on top of it later. I seriously need some saw horses.
I like this design. It looks nice, it is strong and relatively easy to put together. Posts I am going to make are too heavy to carry, so I need a ride. I tried to construct one from leftover materials. A laser level helps to determine the length of the post. A year ago, two oak trees needed to be cut down. They looked too nice to become firewood. So I put them aside for a future project. Because this cut tree was outside for a year, the outer layer got a bit rough. Making a nice smooth post out of a tree helps to protect the wood against little bugs and worms of the forest. And it looks beautiful.
The bottom of the oak post will rot over time if it's placed directly on the concrete foundation. So I made a design for a water barrier that should prevent this from happening. The idea is that in between the oak post and the concrete foundation a hardwood block will be installed. This hardwood block will not rot as easily and can also be replaced in the future if necessary. The center pin will position the oak post. On the bottom of the post a pocket is made. So if drops of water run down the side of the post, they will drip off the edge nicely and the core stays dry. A waterproof layer between the foundation and the hardwood prevents moisture from the soil reaching the wood. First, a pocket on the bottom of the post is made. I found some old pieces of hardwood that are perfect. I only need to find a piece without nails or screws. Now I can work on this piece of wood safely. First, it needs to become flat. The drill hole will become the center of the hardwood disc. This attachment for the router with the bolt sticking out makes it possible to spin the router in a circle. If everything goes according to plan, I will end up with a round disc with the right diameter.
Router templates make it possible to cut round holes. Because of the thickness of the wood, the hole needs to be cut in two steps from both sides. I apply wood oil to the parts I cannot reach later. A leftover rod is a nice failsafe. The posts will be kept in place by the metal tubes that stick out of the foundations. They will not be secured in place any further. This allows for some movement. In strong winds the structure can move a bit with the tree and will not damage itself. At least, that's the plan. <laughs> 